here's the product, the Toile Pistol. Um, it comes in a, uh, a basic 12 ounce a package with an interesting uh, silver foil on the top there. Uh, it's an ale, uh, but it has some unusual flavor uh, items to it. Very good head. Um, you'll see I've put it in a uh, standard uh, ale container here. Uh, it comes out with quite a good head, good Brussels lace, and um, let's give it a taste test here. It has both sweet and bitter notes, and it has quite a bit of hoppiness, but also an unusually powerful malt effect. So, the overall impression I get of this of this brew is extremes of complexity. Um, a lot of people are not going to find this very appealing at all. Other people are going to say, "Wow, what an amazing brew!" Um, if the, the extremes of complexity on this thing are just such that that only somebody that's really been tasting beer for quite a while and knows what they're tasting ought to even really try drinking this thing because uh, otherwise it might be Barfsville. Anyway, to me, a really interesting beer. It seems right for stuff that might be very neutral but flavorful. You know, if, if you had, say, some sort of an Italian pasta dish and you drank this with it, the floral bouquet of this thing, the floral, yeah, the, it's very flowery smelling floral kind of notes on this thing might be of use to you. Uh, I'm listening to Pink Floyd here because this is a Mondo Bizarro brew. Interesting. I, I rather like it on certain occasions.